Louise, thank you. That is the BBC News at six for tonight. We will, of course, have much more on all those developments in the Middle East coming up at 10. But uh, right now here on BBC One, let's, of course, get the news wherever you are this evening from our colleagues. Bye bye for now. Hello, coming up on tonight's BBC London. We reveal the illegal fly tipping taking place in West London and happening on an industrial scale, according to one eyewitness. Vans kept coming every 10 and 15 minutes and they were uh, dumping the rubbish. An expert describes it as a form of organised crime, also ahead. The search for a missing 34-year-old from South London is now a murder investigation. Justin Henry was last seen in Croydon 10 days ago. We'll have more on the news. Two Met officers have been sacked for gross misconduct following the stop and search of two black athletes. Plus a delay in banning no-fault evictions. We hear from one renter who says it turned her life upside down. And... To see my artwork in Piccadilly Circus feels like a dream come true. Seeing their work up in lights on a world famous screen, the school children who are the young winners of a London art prize. A very warm welcome to the programme. Good to have you with us. We start tonight with the fly tipping, the illegal dumping of waste blighting areas. This was Perfleet in Essex. Perhaps you've seen it where you live. It could be anything from household waste to mattresses to building debris dumped in quiet spots. One expert describes it as now a form of organised crime. Latest figures show that nine of the top ten worst affected local authorities in the country are here in the capital. Alpa Patel has been taking a closer look. 